came home to find a hardwood floor refinisher he had hired sleeping in his car in the driveway. He didn't see it as a problem. He saw it as an opportunity. That experience led to him developing a source for pre-qualified contractors. Please welcome Jim, also known as Checker Pro Joe. Hello. Good to be here. How you doing? Thank you. Okay, now explain the situation again before, because a lot of people, when they want to have some work done, they hire mm -hmm. a contractor, or, you know, the best to do is to go to a friend and say, who did you use and were they good? But if you don't have that resource, you're kind of left out there by yourself. Yeah, where do you go? About uh, 10 years ago, I hired a contractor to refinish some floors in a new house I had purchased and found him sleeping in his car in the driveway. And, um, you know, of course, I fired him, but that's just one of the many stories I had as a homeowner. Yeah. So I decided in 2005 to start Checker Pro. All right. And Checker Pro, what it does is you kind of do the background checks for us. Yeah, we pre qualify all the contractors. I actually interview each one myself, so I've met them all. We check their licenses, we check their insurance, uh, we check their references. So pretty much everything that you should do as a homeowner, Deborah, we do ahead of time. Their license is actually on our website. You can click it and see it. And so we do all that. Yeah, and, that, and that's important to say click it and see it because people sure. can always say, oh, yeah, we have a license. Exactly, exactly. Check it because it actually goes out to the licensing board, if you will, in Texas, and you can see their license. And if yeah. they don't have a license, you may want to ask. But understand, not all contractors in the state of Texas have to have need a license. Yeah, okay. Yes. And then, of course, the insurance part is so important, too. Insurance is very important. You have to make sure that they have a certificate of insurance if you, if you want to make sure that they're safe in your home. Yeah, and then if there's complaints, you try to make sure those complaints get resolved and that they're legitimate. But, it, you know, too many complaints, out, then, yeah. Out they go. Say? And this, this site is, is free to the public. It's free to everyone in Houston. Actually, it's free anywhere in the world, but we're yeah. here in Houston, Texas. It's free at checkapro.com. There's no fees. Simple as that. Okay. You've got a new book out, Meet yeah. Checker Pro Joe. Sure. Let me tell you about the book. Okay. We came out with a book this year called Meet Checker Pro Joe, and it does have a picture of me on the front, but it's not about me so much. I write a chapter in there about why I started the company. However, all these great people here wrote a chapter in the books. We've got 20 chapters from our pre-qualified contract. Yeah, and we have some of those in the audience. You can tell which ones they are, the ones with the hard hats there. Okay. People always have questions about what's going on in their home, the biggest investment most of us will make. And we have some audience members today who uh, have some questions and some folks who will be able to answer them for us. So let's start with our first one. Yes, if someone has an older front load washer with mold issues, what can be done to resolve those issues? Well, Cindy, if um, the washing machine already has mold uh, on the boot, which is where it generally will start to form, um, it's a good idea to go ahead and have that boot replaced. Um, there are some... Um, before the process happens, though, is when you want to start your maintenance, and that can be done by, there are different um, products out there to disinfect and clean the machine. Um, also, uh, at the end of your wash cycle, drying that door off, leaving it open, and then taking the boot and pulling it apart and drying the water out of it will also help eliminate um, some of the uh, reasons that mold grows, which is, you know, it being dark, warm, and wet. You are a appliance repair person. Yes, ma'am. And very few ladies in that field, are there? Yes, ma'am. What made you decide to go into that business? Uh, funny story. Uh, <laughs> my refrigerator broke, and I had been home with my kids for five years. Um, my husband, you know, paid the bills, and just got to a point where uh, we needed a second income. This kind of fell in my lap, and I'm handy with my um, handy with you know fixing things, and so I jumped right in. All right, that's a great story. Okay, our next question. So with so, many, um, with so many air filters out there and different price points, how often and what kind um, would be the best type of air filter to use? Well, actually, Sally, that's a great question. A lot of people think that they should replace the filter like three, four times a year. I believe you should change it every month. And you might think, wow, that's, that's a, lot of, you know, a lot of times to change your filter. But what happens is these more expensive filters, they load up very quickly. And if you forget about it and leave it in there for two or three months, it actually makes your air conditioner work harder. Mm -hmm. So I would recommend you just buy a less expensive filter and change it every month. Oh, saves you some money there. All right. Well, Joe, what we see here is that not only is this great for consumers, but it's also great for the contractors. Well, sure, because they're actually part of an exclusive group here in Houston, Texas, known as Checka Pro, and they can network together, they can refer business to each other, and it sets them uh, uh, at a much higher level than the average contractor. Yeah, all right, so how does anybody, number one, get a hold of your book? 
They can go to checkapro.com and right on the home page, they can order it there. It's on Amazon. Yeah, and then how is the website actually set up? When you click in, what do you see? And As soon as you go to checkapro.com, Deborah, you're going to look for the city you're in. Katy, the Woodland, Sugar Land, whatever. You click on it, and then it's going to come up with a question, what are you looking for? Something repaired, cleaned, or remodeled? And you click on the category, and you click on the contractor button, and it pulls up those contractors just in that category. All right, so it makes it easy to do. Yeah. All right, thank you very much. Thanks, Deborah. And to find pre-qualified contractors in your neighborhood and then important word pre-qualified go to checkapro.com and you can get a free gift card they're good for $25 each time you use a checkapro qualified contractor and it never expires love that you can also catch Jim on the radio every Saturday at 5 p.m. on AM 700 Jim takes phone calls and helps people find contractors and everyone in the audience by the way is getting a copy of his new book <laughs> Something to do with those old CDs sitting around.